Hey Pisces, welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is going to be another general reading for the month of December. So let's just jump right in and see what messages we get for you. All right, we have the Two of Swords at the bottom of the deck. Um, I feel like this could be about a relationship. I feel like you are maybe uh, struggling to make a decision or figure out what is the best thing to do about something here. We have the Eight of Cups, Queen of Wands, and the Ace of Cups. I feel like this could be a new relationship for a lot of you. Like maybe a lot of you are having a feeling of, should I stay, should I go? All right, it's almost like there's something concerning maybe that's coming up at this time. Part of you really wants to stay in this connection or you really want to believe in it, but maybe there is a feeling that you can't quite shake, right? And that's what that Eight of Cups is representing. It's that feeling of, I want this to work, but I also don't want to maybe lose myself in this in order to make it work or there's something I'm not willing to sacrifice in order to make it work. So while there is love, while there is a desire to grow and thrive in this connection, I definitely feel like that Two of Swords is you needing to really see this um, at face value and make a very important decision for yourself. Um, so let's go ahead and see what we get when we clarify the Eight of Cups. All right, four of wands at the bottom of the deck. So um, I feel like you're really, really anticipating um, something here. I feel like you're in the middle of a new beginning as well. Like almost as this new relationship or maybe this new chapter of a relationship has started up here for you, I feel like in another area of your like life, maybe within work, um, or your personal life, there's also something that's actually happening here, something that's really good, uh, making you really excited and giving you a lot of success and independence. And as you're starting to embrace that independence, Pisces, part of you is like, do I really need this, right? Do I really need this or should I just focus on what's working for me? Um, it's almost like you're really starting to value um, yourself in a way where if a relationship doesn't suit you right or of a friendship right because this could also be friendship if something doesn't align with your life and who you are right now um, that's got to mean something and that requires action so we have the six of wands which is more success right to add to that um, four of wands right that victory that recognition feeling accomplished feeling like you've reached a milestone here uh, page of pentacles and seven of swords i feel like some of you could even be dealing with a situation where someone has appeared in your life very different than how they really feel maybe there is a sense of betrayal um, or deception that you're trying to make sense of part of you really is thinking i don't have time for this right i'm too busy focusing on my success my happiness my peace i don't really have time for energies that feel deceiving page of pentacles you're you're taking a new opportunity by storm really making the most out of it right now and I feel like when it comes to a connection in your life you're starting to question how much it actually means to you and if the value of that is worth putting on the line for something that really uh, matters so much more so let's go ahead and clarify the uh, seven of swords The lovers so gemini energy here again this does feel like a connection um that is giving you something to think about we have justice which is libra ace of pentacles and six of swords again so um six of swords i think that you're ready to move forward from this i feel like you want progress uh, but you're not going to force it right it's, it's either going to happen or you're not going to force it and you are just simply going to move on. I feel like justice represents karmic justice, the fact that this is going to be resolved in your favor. Um, again, the lovers here at the bottom of the deck, it does say though um, that there is potential for this to improve, but only if you want it to. It's almost like the universe is trying to make the situation light, but also remind you that you have a choice, right? You decide how this is going to end up for you. I feel like the Ace of Pentacles represents that you have a major opportunity on your lap right now, Pisces. You've got something going on that maybe a lot of people want, right? Maybe someone is envious of you. Maybe someone doesn't want you to be so successful that you don't need them anymore, right? Who knows what the energies are really about, but I feel like this Ace of Pentacles coming through here really represents that what you're doing is going to elevate you. 
it's going to allow you to meet with your higher self and really determine um, what you want right and i feel like when it comes to connections if they're not resonating if they're not aligned with who that person is right that you are identifying as that means that those things need to change and if you're feeling intuitively that you want to walk away from things that's kind of like you being matched up uh, with your higher self it's like you are really in alignment here and i think that if you're feeling this way there's a reason for it and the universe wants you to focus on what really matters and you know remind you to put your priorities first so that you're not doing things you don't want to do and feeling a way you don't want to feel so really love the clarity of this really love the energy for you here um if you like this reading and it resonated please give it a like please subscribe and i will see you in the next one